Hey YouTube, what's going on? Um, I'm just making a video about a saltwater tank here. I have had for quite a while, but I haven't made a video in quite a while, so it's brand new to you guys. So uh, let's get it started. It's 28 gallons. Uh, it's a bow front tank, so it's got a lot more swimming space, so I can keep that tang in there. Um, so yeah, the fish. I've got a little sailfin tang there. He's pretty cool. He's the newest one. I've got a clownfish, as you can see. She's kind of an attention whore. Uh, I got my male clownfish. He's back there. I've got a yellow clown goby. I guess I just like fish that have the word clown in them. I don't know why. Um, I have another goby. He's underneath that rock somewhere. Maybe he'll come out in the next few minutes. I don't know. Uh, I've got a lot of Kenya trees. As you can see, there's a Zenya tree back there. Um, it just sort of isn't as good as the Kenya trees. So I don't like it as much. Uh, I've got those little polyp things. I'm not entirely sure what they are. Uh, but they spread all over there, which is kind of cool. I've got these things, which um, I've heard are good and bad. I really have no idea what they are. So if you do know, um, I would like to know that. Because if I have to get rid of them, I'd love to get rid of them. I have a bunch of mushrooms over here that um, aren't doing as well as they used to be. I don't know why. The lights just came on about two hours ago, so not everything's fully awake yet. Uh, I've got a hermit crab. I used to have three. I don't know, the other two died. So I don't have three anymore. Um, there's one snail right there underneath the scrubber. There's another snail up there. That's just some algae stuff right there i got to scrape off. That's how I know where my water should be. Um, that's a Corellia 550 power head. Um, behind it is the heater because my room is kind of cold because, you know, when you have an air conditioner, water gets cold. Um... The Corellia is decent, you know, it doesn't overpower the tank, but it's not, like, as powerful as it should be for this tank, but it does okay. Um, they've got all my supplies down here, if you can see it, if it'll focus. It's kind of dark, um, I've got a 1200 power head right here, it's what I used to mix salt, I used to have it in the tank, but, and that's way overbearing for this tank, it's only 28 gallons, but. Yeah, this, this Corellia does okay, you know, my stuff's still doing good. Um, I've got some baby feather dusters right there, just, I used to have an anemone, but it died too. And the uh, feather dusters popped up underneath where the anemone was, so, it's like, oh, that's a pretty cool trade-off. Um, yeah, all these Kenya trees, they all sprouted from that one right there, which usually stands up nice and tall and straight, but it's not wanting to today, because it's, you know, temperamental. Um... Up there I have a uh, T5 light, it's um, got here, I'll put the camera underneath, hopefully it doesn't go in the water. Uh, yeah, didn't really show you the light bulbs or anything, but that's my light, and it kicks ass. It's really good light, especially for this tank, that's why I have so much algae, that's why I had to get that tang. Uh, I've got a 70 gallon filter on it, so I definitely have no problem with filtration, so all my levels are always good. Um, and it creates a lot of flow too, that huge filter does. So, yeah, that's my, uh, my saltwater tank, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. You know what you gotta do. Um, alright, thanks.